Alright folks, so we're blurred back from the Transformers review. This one's going to be on Generation 1 Target Master Sure Shot. As you quickly see him in his lovely vehicle mode. Um, sure Shot in his old mode is a June buggy, um, which you'll kind of see the, what I mean by when you get a bit closer look. Just thought I'd show first of all his Target Master in place spoil sport. I just forgot his name there. Um, just like most of them, they do actually have a little peg, so they have got somewhere to put him in vehicle mode, which is kind of cool. Uh, we'll take him away to the side just now, so we get a closer look at Spo um, Sure Shot himself. Now, I like the vehicle mode of this. Um, there's just one big drawdown. I'll go for the negatives first because there really is only one for me. It's the kind of vehicle mode it just cuts off. Now I don't know if that's obviously the design of the June buggy. It just looks a bit lazy. There's like there should be something here. You quickly see that's part of the transformation. That's the only thing I don't really like about the the vehicle mode itself. Everything else I do actually love. Um, it does make a very convincing June buggy. And as you see, this is a very good condition, this figure. He's got some great sticker applications which break up the yellow of the bodywork. Um, see, he's even got stickers for these sort of top fog lights or little headlights on the top. Uh, so, great detailing. I'm glad these are painted and not just left yellow. Uh, so, I saw the fins and a lovely. See, this, this, apart from blue, this is probably the way you should get a windscreen to look colour wise. Um, to get detail on the figure, not just with the stickers, you see you've got these vents already, but some here on the side. Uh, you've got some more vents at the bottom here. Um, some really funky alley wheels. And kind of a, a attempt in a bumper this section. A uh, great auto-button signal at the top. And this is also going to be sort of engine area. And some more stickers in the back for like his boosters. Um, Kimber wise, not that much. I mean, you can kind of tell the transformation that these are going to be his hands, but they can in some form of way be hidden I mean, they are his arms, you know that for a fact but it does look like part of the vehicle in a way um, head, you can just kind of see through the back probably one of the worst ones it does actually hide the, the robot but I still love the mobile itself uh, I'm going to give a little bit of a size comparison here, we've actually got point blank with our target masters and you see pretty much in scale um, but June Buggy is actually quite massive, but uh, quite well scaled up, I think, between two of them. Um, after I just dropped the spot there, there we go. Get a little closer look at him in gun mods. Not much to him, really. You can, it's not one of the most convincing target masters. But yes, in fact, he has a gun, and he's got some dual lasers there. So, that's what I'm going to say about him just now. Transformation wise, this guy is a joy to transform. He's got a really not complex, but just a different transformation than most vehicles. In fact, most of the Target Masters have great transformations. Now, what we're going to start off by doing is actually bring out this arm section. I'm just going to freeze up here. Uh, we push this whole section forward. So let's cover this hole. Uh -huh. And this whole back part will actually come, well, the bottom part, should I say, should actually come forward. It's very tight on this figure. See there, it's really they actually clip into place. So as you push it, pulls in, bam, very secure. Feet, it's a case of pulling the wheels back. So at least he's got two feet. Um, these wheels can actually rotate around to be hidden. Nice little touch. And the veil of the head is purely bing, like so. Arms, simply fold down forward. And we've got the classic little slidey tabs bring up his hands. I say, very nice and tidy transformation. I do love it. And he does stand pretty proud there in his robot mode. Same again with most of these figures though, kind of mono legs, they can't move. Um, these wheels don't really go anywhere, but they do give some good stabilisation. Uh, very bright, as you see, the, the light's hitting it. He's a very um, funky character. Uh, funky is the only word you can use because it's so, so bright and out there. Uh, closer look at the robot mode. Awesome. Head sculpt. See, he's got the whole helmet thing going on. You can quite clear to see he's got a face, nose, mouth. Um, this whole top cabin section becomes a great chest piece. All button signal now, of course, in the front. And all these vents and details from his uh, vehicle mode translate well into robot mode as well. See your legs. Got a bit of little detail there. And see all these vents kind of carry over. Um, 
size comparison for him. I'm bringing Jetfire because everyone kind of knows the sort of difference to Jetfire. So you see, a little bit shorter than Jetfire. But still, a really good deluxe size figure. Um, I would say he's one of my, f he's actually the favourites out of the Target Masters. They're not so much, say that there's what I like to call it, not so much well known because you also got Cut Blur, Hot Rod. Um, but out of when it comes to like Point Blank, Show sure Shot, and I forgot that I get his name now because I'm stupid. Crosshairs, there we go. Um, he's my favourite of the lot. Uh, we've got his Target Master here, which of course can sit in his hand. Like so. Not much special with that though. Does the job. And then we give a little transformation. Can you tell what it is yet? Bing! His twin cannons can sit quite nicely at his back. Kind of gives him this little smart little look here. Uh, let's see if we can get a little closer look at his face. I want to zoom. Yeah. He has got a little face as well. Kind of helmet going on. Great little torso. No articulation, of course, in the arms for the Target Masters. They really. They, they'll probably spend 9 times out of 10 actually in their gun mode in the hand of their um, natural partner. But still, it's cool these guys still transform. But here we go back. In fact, now Liam's standing still. So there we go. That's my review for Sure Shot and Spell Sport. And get a little bit of a closer look again. That face. And I'm really happy to have these guys. Oh, but Burr, signing out. Catch us later.